Hey, what's going on everybody? Commander Crane here, and we are back with another Pioneer deck tech. And today we're gonna to be talking about Gruel Raccoons. I'm very excited to share this list with you. As always, at the end of the video, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this deck? Is there a raccoon or a specific card that I didn't include in the deck that I definitely should have? Or do you have suggestions for upcoming videos? Just let me know in the comment section. And real quick before we hop into the video, I believe this is the fifth deck that we've done featuring cards from Bloomboro. Let's see, so, so far, We've done Boros Mice, we did Selesnia Rabbits, we did Orzov Bats, and then we also did Is It Otter, so definitely check out those uh, videos on the channel after you're done with this one. So, okay, Gruel Raccoons. I'm not going to lie, this was probably the hardest deck to build, because the Raccoon's main mechanic that they got doesn't almost quite work. It works with the deck that we built today, but it was like, so expend is kind of its thing where it's like whenever you spend at least like three or four or five mana, um, on a, to cast a spell on that turn, you get certain, uh, benefits from it. So it was like, I originally started like a ramp package deck, but it just didn't really work out that well. And I, I tried a couple different other decks and this is the one that I ultimately settled with. And I really do like it. I was also hoping raccoons was going to get a little bit more support than they did. And they got a decent amount of support, but it'll kind of make sense here in a moment. So, all right, let's go and hop into it here. So Okay, we need some early drops. Obviously, we're playing the elf package. I'm only playing six elves, as weird as it seems. It'll make sense in a moment here. But overall, I thought that eight elves was a little bit of overkill, so I decided to just play six. Since we're also playing technically another one drop later in uh, the video, which will make sense in a moment. But we're also playing four Valley Might Caller. And although it is not a raccoon, this card is is absolutely bonkers it is a one one for one with trample but it's not going to be a one one for very long because whenever another frog rabbit raccoon or squirrel you control enters put a plus one plus one counter on it and this card is insane it's a champion of the perished for raccoons or well, frogs rabbits raccoons or squirrels technically speaking but this card is really really good huge fan of valley might caller it's a champion of the parish that's why we're playing it. the card is absolutely insane it's actually better than champion of the parish because it has trample which is really cool so definitely a huge fan of valley might caller in this deck all right next slide here we're also playing four copies of bramble familiar this card is pretty sweet for multiple reasons one it helps make mana and then it's got like its own little like weird bounce effect that's got going on there but two with the expend mechanic this card can definitely help once we start making a decent amount of mana which it's not going to be too hard to make mana in this deck for the most part we're going to be able to cast the fetch quest side of it pretty often which automatically triggers all of the expend creatures in our deck so definitely a huge fan of bramble familiar we're also playing four copies of keen-eyed curator i'll be honest with you this card really doesn't have a lot of synergy with the deck it's just a really good raccoon three three for two as long as there are four more card types among cards exiled with it it gets plus four plus four in trample which is awesome and then we can tap one to exile target card from a graveyard so it's Simply put, it's just a really good card. Definitely a huge fan of Keen Eyed Curator. And then we're also playing four copies of Bramble Guard Veteran. Three, four for three. Whatever you expend for, raccoons you control get plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. So whenever we obviously expend four, all of our stuff gets vigilance, which is not going to be hard to do, especially with uh checking out a couple of the cards in an upcoming slide here. So I also really do like the Bramble Guard Veteran. It's, only, it's also the only Lord this deck truly got in Bloomboro, which I thought was a little weird. But anyways, I still do like the Bramble Guard Veteran. It's got pretty good stats there. So all right, next slide here. We're also playing four copies of Byway Barter and two copies of, I'm sorry if I butcher this, Muera Trash Tactician. Byway Barter, I think is really underrated. Three, three for three with Menace. Whenever you expend four, you may discard your hand if you do draw two cards. The thing is with Gruul decks like this is they tend to run out of cards relatively quickly, and this helps us refill. You know, if we're playing off the top of our deck or if we, you know, for instance, cast a Collected Company and we only have like an Elf or something in our hand and it's not worth it, just discard and draw two. We just keep just pumping into gas. So definitely a huge fan of Byway Barterer in this deck. That's why I'm playing a full four copies of it. And then Muera trash tactician is really sweet at the beginning of your first main phase add red or green for each raccoon you control and then whenever you expend four you gain three life which is a little bit of value not that we're going to be expending eight very often but let's say we happen to expend eight here which i guess is possible with fetch quest exile the top two cards of your library until the end of your next turn you may play those cards so this card is pretty sweet just playing two copies of it because it is legendary and it's not the most aggressive card per se but i still do really like it in this deck so that's why we're playing two copies of it so 
Okay, the main cards that we're featuring next are the cards that actually help us expend four, which obviously we can double spell. That is a way that we can expend four. But what are some spells that we're playing that can just expend for all by themselves. So part of that is Collected Company. It's We're playing a Collected Company deck. It's a red-green aggro deck. I really do like Collected Company. It's the best way to expend for really in our deck. We can put any creature in the entire deck into play with it. So definitely a huge fan of Collected Company in the deck. And then rounding out the cards that help us expend for, we're also playing two copies of Lovestruck Beast and four copies of Bone Crusher Giant. If we cast both the Adventure side and the regular side in one turn, that helps us expend, which helps us get a whole bunch of value from that. So definitely a huge fan of both of these. And what's really cool with it is we're expending uh, four, ideally, to be able to, you know, get some extra value. But we can also just put these into play with Collected Company. So it definitely helps with, um, you know, like, you know, whiffing on Collected Companies, which always feels horrible. When your Collected Companies are bad, like, you're going to lose most of the time, regardless of the deck that you're playing. So it's nice to see some cards that is a little bit of a flex. It helps us expend, but it's also creatures we can put into play with Collected Company. So, anyways, that's the entire main board. Let's go and talk about the lands real quick, which the lands are really simple in this deck. We're a, a pretty standard gruel mana base we're playing four copper lane gorge four stomping ground and three carplusion forest as our main dual lands we are also playing four cry crown pathway one besage you and two mutavolts mutavolts any creature type which counts as a raccoon so that's why we're playing it and then rounding out our lands we are playing two layer of the hydra one mountain and one forest and as our spicy basic lands of the day i've got the really cool uh bloomboro mountain and bloomboro forest here the mountain i think is spring I don't know. It's the one that I like the most, I would say, out of the... Because there's like four different seasons, four different arts for it, and I wanted to feature this one. And then we obviously have the really cool forest there. I don't know why I chose that one. I thought it just looked kind of cool. It just seemed to fit the Raccoon's deck a little bit better than the other ones. So, that's the entire main board. Let's go ahead and talk about the sideboard, as well as some budget options for the deck. Which, the sideboard is going to be really simple. We're going to want some Graveyard Hate... Tormod Script is a fantastic option. We do have a little bit of mainboard graveyard hate, which is pretty sweet, so we definitely don't have to pack as much as we normally would. You're going to want some extra removal. I would recommend cards like Torch the Tower or Rending Volley. I think those are the best options currently that you can play in the sideboard, just because they're going to get a number of different decks. You're going to want some vampire hate. I would recommend some combination of Pithing Needle and Pick Your Poison, both fantastic options against the vampire deck that is everywhere right now. You're also going to want some anti-life gain for decks like uh, Green White Angels and all also, the Amalia combo, I would just play Rampaging Frostodon. You could also play a Giant Center Mall, but I think the Frostodon's a little bit better. And, again, what's really sweet with it is we can put it into play with Collected Company. So definitely a huge fan of featuring that in the sideboard as well. And then the last thing we have to talk about is the budget options, which is really simple for this deck. Obviously, go ahead and swap out the pricier dual lands and put in some budget dual lands like Rootbound Crag, for instance, or any like the like was it like the Rugged Ridge Line or anything like that. Just go ahead and take out the expensive dual lands and swap in some budget ones. You could also swap Collected Company and just play some good solid four drop creatures, like you could play like a Questing Beast or something like that. But honestly, I would keep in the Collected Companies because they're not. They're definitely not as pricey as they used to be. I remember they used to be like 20, 25 bucks a piece, but now you can get them for less than 10 US dollars a piece, which is sweet. And so our current list right now is only 253 US dollars, which is pretty sweet for, you know, an aggro deck. And that's including the Besages, and that's including the Muta Vaults, that's including absolutely everything but i was able to get the budget list down to only 120 us dollars and that's including the collected companies which is pretty sweet so it, you know i would say with this deck if you're you know if you're looking to just play a fun a gruel aggro deck or if you really really like raccoons i think this would be a perfect deck for you i'm not going to sit here and tell you that this deck is going to secretly win an rcq or anything like that if you like raccoons definitely build this deck do not be afraid to try out something a little bit different try out some new unique cards for sure bloomboro is full of new unique spicy cards and this deck is definitely no exception to that so that takes us to the end of the video here thanks so much for watching the deck lists are in the description below if you'd like to check them out for yourself huge shout out to our channel members ralph matt arcadius ray gary and sarwanoki if you are interested in being a channel member it's only one us dollar a month you get access to the exclusive discord for the channel as well as other features here on the channel so i'm commander crane thanks for watching this video and i hope to catch you in the next one